Guys, sun's out, guns out. Let's go. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hey, how'd you like the progression of the new milk house? Well, this is where it's at so far. The reason that we put this addition on is because we need to add another milk tank. We don't necessarily want to add the milk tank. Yes, girls? We don't necessarily want to milk, add the milk tank, but the milk callers requested it, and it was a pretty firm request. So you pretty much have to keep them happy because they're the ones that take your milk every day. So here's where the other tank's gonna be. We're leaving this one hooked up and the cooler hooked up. The other tank's already bought and the cooler's bought. We ended up getting a good deal out of that. So all we're waiting on now is pretty much the cement. This was built, the ceiling, the old roof was all ripped out after the fact. So this is what you got everything hanging. We've gotta get all that stuff squared away. Then we're probably gonna wall this room off. This, this room's where uh, the vacuum pumps are in the furnace, so we're probably going to put a heat duct in here, put the ceiling in, spray foam it, and uh, we got a new milk house. So check this out. It's, it's going to be, it's been a long time in, in, in the making, so we're slowly up, updating, and uh, we're pretty excited about it. Here's the milk tank. We got this up in Brown City, which is only about 10 miles from here. It's pretty much the sister to the one that we've got. It's going to fit right in there. So, you know, it's it's kind of a pain in the butt when they tell you you need to put in another tank or at least a bigger tank. We went this route. We found this. We got this pretty cheap. Um, two brothers sold it. So, you know, and it also can be a blessing sometimes. I mean, you're, you know, you're, what if sometimes, what if they go in the ditch with the milk truck and they can't get here? At least you've got a little bit of leeway now before you fill that tank up every day and that's it. Take another look from this angle. We're leaving this open now because we're going to bust this concrete out. They're going to pull it out. Probably should have already been done, but, and this has to be open anyway. We're going to get it poured, slide the tank in, and the coolers are going to be on the outside of this. So we're going to be able to walk right around these tanks now, and once this is poured and all finished, we'll be able to clean them and wash them. This is where the old wall was. This is what you'd do. You'd stick your tank out of that wall. It would help cool it uh, just naturally in the winter. But on the flip side, in the summertime, it, it, it's not necessarily helping it so it's all going to be totally enclosed and we're pretty excited about it moving on chopping update ag bags are full there's one there's two i'll show you a third one in a second i got my girls with me i just picked them up from school north branch schools did you have a good day girls yeah did, guys take a look did you have a good day yeah yeah okay good Hi. yeah here's your bags we lay one right next to each other here and there and I'll pull from this when I'm out of the silos. Let's check this from a different angle. How do you like that big marshmallow? It's a big marshmallow. Wouldn't that be cool if it was? Yeah, you could just take a bite of it. Can you get up there? Yeah. Alright, we found the third egg bag. We put one here last year. Look at the heifers and the birds. They're all congregating over here. But this is the one we put here last year. I emptied it last. It worked out pretty good, so we laid another one here. I tell you what, fall weather finally hit. Last time I was with you guys, it was 80 degrees. Well, now it's thir it's 60s during the day and 30 at night, 35. So it came rolling in, which is to be expected. So next up, 
we're chopping down there at the dry cows. We're gonna fill that silo and we're gonna lay an egg bag down there first time ever. These silos here, they're all full, okay? Except for that fifth one, that's your high moisture grain. That's coming up down the pike after we're done with the dry cows. But done chopping up here for the, for the milk cows. And tomorrow we're gonna start down there. I'm gonna take you along. Quick stop in the barnyard. Make sure these cows, I refed them a little bit. Make sure they got plenty of feed while we're down there filling on that silo. 78's obviously in heat, bull's right behind her. There's that big tame bull. He used to be too small when I brought him in here. I had someone ask. He's grown up and he's nice. Water and trough, cows are eating. Life is good. Let's go get done chopping. Well, we made it down here. I'm fired up with loading. This load here was from chop last night. See, it's steaming up. That, that means there's plenty of moisture in that corn. That's a good thing. I got an audience down here at some point. Look at them. They're eating out a round bale. So this silo should fill pretty, pretty fast. I mean, we got the corn right in our back door here. When we're done filling this, I'm going to lay a ag bag down here. Might throw some gravel in here first before we do that. We've gotten quite a bit in the rain the last few days. Dried up quite a bit, but we want to lay a good foundation. Man, the clouds are really out today. She's going pretty well. Like I said, the seasons are changing. It's going to get cold. guys that's gonna do it shutting down filled the silo pulled that spout down blew it all the way across and it started coming around to shoot and these smart cows here 
realize that the rest of them still don't really know what's going on but they're eating right off the ground so i hope you liked the video i knew this silo was going to go quick with the corn right in our back door so uh follow me kip sigler farming on instagram hit that thumbs up subscribe to the channel stick around for a while and i'll uh, see you in the next one thanks